Ooh. Ooh. See, back in the day when I was sitting on the street corners. Yeah. Doing my little harmonies. Uh huh. Like Jerome. Jerome and Hobbs. <laughs> I love that show. Yeah. Martin, I, it wasn't just the time. Martin is as good or was as good in that time and mm -hmm. still good every once now. As I Love Lucy was back mm -hmm. when I was a kid. That's how, seriously. Lucy, I Love Lucy, y'all, when I was a kid, because all we saw on TV were white people. Right. So we had no choices but to look at white people. Thank you, thank you. Martin was, is as good as that show was back in that day. What was like the first major black sitcom that you remember? Mm. Oh, congratulations. Mm. Amos and Andy? See, I don't even know what that is. What is it called? Amos and Andy. Okay. What that, was it about? That was some stereotypical. It it was it was but it was like Kingfish and it, you know. But that was like before my it was in my time. Okay. But you know when I was a kid a kid kid Amos and Andy was on TV. Okay. And Lucy Ball was more current like, and then um, comedy Andy Griffith. Yeah. My dad still watches yeah. the But the best one in my time, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, it's and with Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and I Shirley. Like, and you know, she just died. One of them just died, Laverne too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but but easily in my time, that was black, mm -hmm. was Sanford and Son. Okay. Without okay. without a doubt. Without a doubt, clear, great. Yeah. And Martin is as good as that. Absolutely. So, yeah. So as good I, as what? Sanford and Son. Okay. I can't. I can't debate. What's your about. favorite? My favorite sitcom. Yeah, about, I mean, the, 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 at your earliest age. At my earliest age. So, you are called in too. Uh, you are called seven seven three nine two eight nine two three zero seven seven three nine two eight nine two three zero. What's your favorite sitcom at, at your earliest age? Anybody? My favorite sitcom at my earliest age was. Mmm, that's a good one. I, I want to say Family Matters. 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 I think Family Matters at my earliest age was Urkel. Family Matters with Urkel. Yeah. Yeah, Urkel said he, he had comments about. I think that kind of hurt him. That that's it. That you know. Yeah, he. I think because the show wasn't about him, mm -hmm. and then it ended up. He ended up being so big that yeah. they kind of had to form the show. It was like Good Times. He was typecast. Mm -hmm. It was like with JJ with Good Times. Yeah. Good Times wasn't about well, JJ. JJ. Wasn't go that far. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends. Nah, JJ was ugly. Uh -oh. Yeah, but that was the comedy of it. <laughs> you know, it was TV, man. <laughs> that was the comedy it, it, of it. Nah, but, it, but it's only for that show. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, Urkel wasn't really ugly. Flavor you know? Flav. I mean, all Flavor Flav was ugly as hell. Flav has <laughs> done so much with his ugliness. I, but, but, okay. I'm just saying. But you all get what I'm saying. The... It's not cross whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not cross. He's saying, he's saying, you know, on... Uh, TV is unforgiving. Uh, you gotta man. be... Everybody don't want to... Everybody don't want to eat their dinner and look at ugly people. I'm just going to be honest with you. You can listen to radio like me, that's why I'm on radio. You know, but you can't look at TV and look at nobody ugly. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Like Esther was ugly on, on, good, <laughs> on um, 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 Saturday. Yeah. She was ugly. But I did eat a whole lot of meals in front of Esther. Uh -huh. I did. You got somebody on the phone? Yes. <laughs> you got call <laughs> Yeah, people calling you. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway, y'all call us. <laughs> Seven seven three nine two eight nine two three zero. What's your favorite sitcom? Yeah, we ain't done with it, Andrew Wiggins. I'm thinking about having a whole prayer service for that brother. Yeah, I feel like Cause he ain't about. playing. He ain't playing. He said, okay. he, he listen, I can't play. Okay. You know. And when men love, y'all love when I, so Oh hard. God, because we like little kids. So yeah, we like little kids that I love. You right. We're geared and guarded for it almost. Like, um, I think you all are after more. After the first couple. Yeah, after that. Well. I can only speak Here's the deal about women, in my opinion. I'm not a woman. Women are you 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 all were created mm -hmm. to be able to handle so much emotionally. Okay. So you cannot you cannot bring a child and you you bringing a child into the world is not just a physical thing. Mm -hmm. It is a heavily mental thing. Sorry. So you have you, you're very adjustable. You make adjustments well with that. Mm -hmm. Men don't make Emotional just adjustments well, not at all. Yeah. So, ladies, having said that, it has a mercy on the brothers. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying let them get away with murder. I'm just saying that the same way you raise your children, your your boys, consider that 
your your man or your man to be or the man you like was raised. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell women one thing. Let, let me just let me just say this. This is what, ladies. This is a difficult one because I, I gotta I gotta we gotta ladies. Your biggest issue is how you choose in this day. You're choosing bad. <laughs> I'm just telling you. So what is the criteria mm. for making I, it, it's choice? different it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. But but you you cannot choose only thinking about today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about the spectrum of life. Mm -hmm. So th there are needs that a woman has to have. Mm -hmm. One of the things, one of the needs that a woman has to have, a woman has to be able to look up to her man. Yeah. I'm telling you that right now, in the dough. Y'all think money is the number one thing? It ain't. Mm -hmm. The number one, well, looking up to him, it should be connectional to money in some ways, but you should be able to look up to a woman has to be able to it's like if you if if it's like T Y you could be this are you taller than your to than your wife? Yeah. All right, by how much? By like a couple of inches. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I saw you that little smile because basically y'all 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 ain't quite eye to eye. Y'all ain't quite eye to eye, right? No, we we good if she ain't got no heels on. <laughs> So let me. Heels on, we about the same. Okay, let, let's go. Let's go with Jasmine with the heels. Okay, okay. for my point, I'm getting ready, man. So if you standing looking right in Jasmine's eyes because she has heels on, mm -hmm. that's your physical height, and you're looking right in her eyes. Right. But even when she looking right in your eyes, in her consciousness, Can't she's right. got to be looking up at him. Absolutely. Because she looking up at him, you did that day. Yeah. That day you did. You you may think it's all working out. But if she's not looking up to you in her consciousness, not in her physical height, right, then you not gonna make it. You already you might as well find you other because that ain't gonna be ain't gonna work. Because a woman looks consciously for the man that she can look up to. Why? Because a woman's number one chief need is that of security. Mm -hmm. Physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, physically, I say it's sexual, physically, financially, spiritually, spiritually all of that. Like there should be, your man should not, your man should be everything for you as a woman mm. at home you know what I'm saying yeah you may appreciate your pastor but your man should be your priest mm. period your man should be your go to so if you dating a brother and he's not your confidant, your consoler, your spiritual connection. You know, if he not all them things, then, lady, it's your responsibility to choose wisely. Stop blaming him. He can be all the dogs he want. Only way you gonna really know he a dog if he dogged you, and if he dogged you, you made a wrong decision. I love how you always love to put the onus on the woman. Because it is a woman. Know, the I women mean, are the greatest love, thing God ever made. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fact. I don't it's the hand that rocks the cradle it. rules yeah. the world, man. Women, that's because, because but two ways to look at it. Yeah. You look at it like I'm putting the onus on the woman, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm demonstrating the power of woman. Admonish the man is what huh? that's all I'm saying. Oh, well, I did. Didn't yeah, I just do that? Barely. We yeah, been praying want, for Wiggins, okay? Now we're talking you about want, we ain't in monitor. Nah, yeah, yeah. You want me to okay. you, you want me to you want me to monitor me and more. Yeah, we I mean come on. Let me throw some dirt on the men right quick. Not no dirt, but you know it's a two way street. Okay, give me give me give, yeah, go ahead and give, give me that other street then. I don't do that much admonishment, but what I'll say is this. You know Man, let me tell you, women are responsible. Let me tell you something. Women are powerful. Yes. Ultimately, the world. 
Let me just tell you how strong this is in the whole world. I don't mean black the black world. Yeah. Really, if you look genealogically and anthropologically mm -hmm. at humans, yes. black women are the seat of that. Certainly. For real. So why why can't I feel I had a mother who was who was who was powerful? I, 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 that's how I understand women through my mother. So I'm really complimenting women when I talk like that, but you may not see that. Not so much. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm really saying, looking at today's woman mm -hmm. and what she's going through, mm -hmm. I'm literally saying that don't sell yourself short. You are powerful like that. And the reason that things are not working out is because okay. maybe you're, you're ahead of yourself in terms of, you know, what you would like to have in terms of companionship. Mm -hmm. But don't go out there like that. No, 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 no. I know it's, a, it's, it's sometimes it's a desert, you know, but there is a, it, there is a, a restaurant with a meal in the desert, but you just got to keep on your sojourn because you, what you don't want to do is end up in a quick eats place mm -hmm. that's going to have you feeling less than nourished. Mm -hmm. Did I hit that with the with the health thing too at the same time? You know what okay. I'm saying? You you don't want to end up with some quick eats that, that ain't gonna leave that's gonna leave you malnourished. Yeah. Women are out here making connections and is leaving them malnourished and feeling less than. So you said earlier when we were off here, you were talking about um, we talk about fasting and you like to fast. I, I do too. So fasting somehow gives you a certain level of energy mm -hmm. and eating the wrong thing like zaps that energy. Yeah. Same thing for relationships. So if a woman who is the, the, the really the mother of creation in the sense that birth doesn't, life doesn't come into the world without a woman. Without the seed first. A woman has to have it all together. A woman has to has to have all of that. It's, a, it's power coming out of a woman. And I think we don't give that enough credit so we don't teach our young girls that you have to be chased in a way that nobody needs to be because nobody can do what you do. You, for nine months, can bring somebody into the world Mm -hmm. Holy, nobody can do that. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Well, what I do think is that when we talk about mothers and the things that they pour into their sons, mm -hmm. women are teaching their, their sons that they're the prize. I've heard this from more they than They need one a daddy. Day. Well, that's part of it. They need and a so, daddy. Again, with that admonishment of men, let's just uh, think about the full mm -hmm. spectrum of Well, you didn't give me time. Oh, I'm going to get around. Yeah. One, three to five minutes. I don't know. Yeah, see why you, you got four hours. Okay. You got four hours. <laughs> But 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 can you see that my my energy really is because I do think so you highly. Love women. I, I, I you love women. I, do. I do. I love women, and I and I think highly of women. Mm -hmm. And but but my picture of a woman at 61 years old mm -hmm. was a different kind of woman than I see now. Certainly. And I think that we need to visit the men of, of of that time back in the day and women of that time so we can learn. Our biggest problem right now as black folks, we have not made the connection from what worked in the past mm. to what we, where we are right now and we're going to stop right there we're going to start back and I'm going to fight with Christina some more right here live on air and you can join the fight. 773-928-9230 773-928-9230 Call us live on air 773-928-9230 More to come. It's the AC Green Show. Sold 1063.